Welcome Aquarius, uh, my name is Rosa and we're just going to jump on in and get started with your reading. We're just going to see what's coming through for you for the month of March of 2022. Uh, there will be more than one message, so stay tuned. Do keep in mind though, Aqua, that some of the messages may or may not resonate. If you find that they do, feel free to reach, I was going to say feel free to reach out, <laughs> uh, but feel free to hit that like button to let me know. And if you haven't already done so, guys, uh, subscribe where you will be supporting the growth of the channel. But more importantly, you will be notified of every time I release a new video here on the channel, which is usually on a week to week basis. Oh, there we go. There's the full cards coming through for you. Okay, so you've got the wheel, the Eight of Cups, the King of Cups, the Two of Pentacles. Beautiful. The signs of the person that you could be connecting to in March We with the King of Cups here. There's strong water energy around you, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But to kick off your reading, you've got the wheel coming through here. Okay, so it seems like March is a turning point for you. So you're going to experience some kind of turning point in your life. This could be in your job, in your career, in your private life, in your personal life. I feel that you're, yeah, you're coming to this point in your life where you're about to turn the leaf. You're about to turn a new chapter, a new phase, or even just enter into some kind of a new portal. And I feel like this wheel is, um, it's its a lucky time. So you might experience in March uh, more positive things or more favorable things sort of uh, happening for you. You might experience more good fortune, more good luck. Um, yeah, I'm seeing like a for some reason with this wheel, I'm seeing like a four leaf clover. So for some of you, you might come across a four leaf clover or a four leaf clover might be significant to you. Um, now it's taking me to Ireland. So for some of you, maybe the wheel is turning in your favor, meaning that, you know, for those of you who have been keen to travel to Ireland uh, or England for that matter, uh, it seems like, you know, this is possible in March or you could be making plans to head over there. Uh, for others of you, I feel like if you take a gamble in any area of your life, because I'm seeing the dice around this woman's neck. So that to me, that indicates taking some kind of a gamble. And I feel that if you do take a chance or a risk, uh, that things will start to flow and things will just move in a much more positive direction. You'll be quite surprised how quickly things begin to unfold for you or life begins to unfold for you or your luck begins to turn and change, right? And it's all from taking some kind of a gamble or taking some kind of a chance or a risk. I feel uh, in March that if things leading up to this month have been, uh, if you've been in a state of confusion or if you've been lacking clarity, I'm seeing the clouds starting to, uh, if you look at this card, they're on the bottom half of this card. So it feels like there's uh, better days or brighter days ahead. Okay, so that clarity is coming. That clarity that you seek is coming. Um and that the clouds, you know, the the lack of clarity, it's starting to dissipate and, and go away. Moving along with the Eight of Cups, for some of you Aquarians, I see you walking towards something that is fulfilling. You are leaving something behind in order to walk towards something that is more aligned to you. This is something that's going to fulfill you, that's going to make you happy. For some of you, you might be walking to love, walking towards love or walking towards a relationship or a partnership here. So the Eight of Cups is, um, is telling me that where you come from, up to this point, it hasn't been so 
rewarding or emotionally fulfilling and now you're ready to walk away or leave an old life or e leave a partner or leave a job behind in order to walk towards something that is destined for you. And I see it up ahead because I see the sun here in this card rising. So a new day is upon you you know the light at the end of the tunnel is starting to reveal itself you're starting to see it and I feel like it's coming from this wheel so it's it's kind of like um sort of yeah leaning into the next card or flowing onto the next card quite nicely here so yeah it's because these two cards are touching each other it's telling me that yeah definitely you're turning a new leaf in March aqua and I see it and you're ready you're like at this point where you're finally ready to see if the grass is greener on the other side and I actually feel that it will because from the eight of cups it rolls into the king of cups now the king of cups mostly represents the sign of Pisces I'm seeing in this king he's wearing a necklace and there's a fish on there I don't know if you can see that. So I feel Pisces season is, um, which is at the start of March, is going to be strongly significant to you. It might be a time to, Pisceans are known to disassociate, okay? So it might be a time for you to disassociate. And I feel like that's going to work in your favor because the King of Cups, he's all about his emotions. He's in tune with his heart chakra and he's in tune with how he feels. And I feel here, the feeling that's coming through this King of Cups is love, is happiness is what makes me emotionally content. For some of you Aquarians, you are walking away from something old and into something new. And for some of you, this could be new love because this Eight of Cups flows into the King of Cups and this can represent someone. Someone that you grow strong feelings for or strong feelings towards. There could be someone here that is growing strong feelings or deeper feelings towards you as well. Hmm. I'm seeing meditation on the cards here. So for some of you, March might be a month where you need to meditate. Meditate on your dreams. The King of Cups, he's connected to his dreams. He's connected to his fantasies. Uh, perhaps you're ready to bring something, bring one of your dreams or your fantasies into reality. You know, the wheel is here. So maybe you're ready to do this. You're ready to create this. Mm, I like the energy that's coming through this King of Cups. Moving along, Aqua, you've got the Two of Pentacles here as well. So I feel March is going to be a great month for you. I feel like you're going to stay on top of your tasks your priorities you know the two of pentacles is an energy of someone who is doing the juggling act but i feel like you will be you'll you'll stay on top of this okay so there's a couple of things here that you could be juggling yeah a couple of different priorities it could be two jobs it could be partnerships even you know two partnerships um for others of you i'm seeing this bag it looks like a bag it looks like a travel bag here so for some of you you might be working away but also yeah it's like you're traveling a lot i'm seeing travel here for some reason um, so March could bring more travel where you kind of just have to live in two places Okay, so you're commuting. I'm seeing these two of pentacles as a commute energy. If it's got to do with love or relationships, I see that you have to commute or travel towards this person and then back home again. Um, but you're maintaining that balance. Um, you're maintaining that rhythm. You're maintaining that, yeah, that, that 
relationship, like work life relationship or love work relationship, right? I just see you maintaining some kind of balance. You're staying on top of things here. There's something here that you're passionate about. I'm looking at the sky and the sky is kind of like reddish, reddish hues. And I feel like you are making something more of a priority. And I feel like it's something that is aligned to your heart's, your heart's desire or your passions here, Aqua. So for example, um, just say you're really busy with work. You have to get up really early to go to work, but you also want to make exercise uh, a priority. So it might mean here that you are waking up an hour earlier or a couple of hours earlier in your day so you can fit in, um, you know, a walk, an hour walk or a half an hour walk or some Pilates session or a gym session or you know, just some stretching here just before you start the day. So I'm seeing that as well. I'm seeing you just going, no, I'm, I'm making this a priority. I know I've got to go to work, but I've still got to make this other thing a priority. That's just an example. It might not be literal, but that's just an example of what's coming through. So yeah, they're your messages, Aqua. Hopefully that was helpful. Don't forget to give us a like if it resonated with you here today. And until next time, take care. Bye for now.